Hi friends, it's Lynn Como here, and today I'd like to unveil my newest workshop kit for Four Always. It's a special promotion that ends the end of this month of July, and this is a really great time to hop on. Sometimes it's just easier for me to go through the slideshow with you and explain all the details because there's so many little pieces of information. So that's what I'm going to do here. So just try to stick it out to the end because it really is an education on the product line that works so well together. So now you can see it's a seven page workshop kit and I'm going to go through all of these details and show you the artwork. Now this is the For Always Scrapbooking Workshop Kit, which I did use, which is also at a savings of 20%. You have French vanilla cardstock, black toffee, um, sage, mist, I'm not sorry, not sage, rosemary, mist, and desert rose, all the pattern paper, the sticker sheet, and even clear bling. So you will purchase this kit and a few other supplies. Now this is the Love Doily that is a beautiful stamp set that I am using to create the artwork and you can buy this separately. It's also sold in the product bundle but you'll then need all the cardstock. Desert Rose Glitter Paper. This was something I added last minute. If you have the shimmer trim that will work but I only used a lot of little slivers like eighths of an inch because it did pop some of the artwork. Ornamental Borders is making a comeback. If you bought this with Cosette, we're going to be using this scallop border again. These are just a great set to have in your stash because you never know when you could really use them and they're just beautiful. Now I wanted to talk to you about the sprigs and leaves. These items are also sold separately, but you can get the bundle for $58.80. There's a stamp set. A slimline thin cut, so when you thin cut it, you're going to have all of what I call these bits, but there's also an embossing folder. It's the same look. And then this, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a stencil pack, so you have two stencils. <clears throat> so that's quite a bit, and we're using everything pretty much in this whole thing. So I wanted to go over how it all works. So this, you can stamp these images and stamp the interior, as you see here and then use our stencils on top. So you can see these are an open style stamp. So when you stamp it, it's open and then you wanna fill in the centers. You can use the stencils and then these little bits that go on the inside to do all of them. It's really pretty cool. So you could buy this separately or in that bundle. So now you can see these are some interior stamps that work right inside of these, but you can also just take your inks and sponge the bits that come out of the thin cut, or you can sponge the stencil on top of the stamps. You'll see what I mean. So here you can see, here is the thin cut, right? So this is the thin cut. When you cut it, you get this beautiful frame and all of these little bits pop out onto your cutting board. So you have the options on how you want to use them. So you can sponge or stencil them. So here I want to show you that you can stamp the bits. And I use those interiors that you can see and just apply sponge or color right on top, which is really pretty cool. <coughs> you can also take the bits from the thin cuts and use the stencil and the stamps combined. Now here we have the two, there's two really beautiful stencils and this is just stenciling. So this is the top portion and then you have the other stencil as well. So you can stencil just on the paper, but you can also stencil and stamp these bits that come out of the thin cuts. So it really all works so well together. Now this is just using two inks and the stencils. There's no stamping involved, no bits from the thin cut. This is purely the stenciling with two colors, mist and rosemary. And I really wanted to show you that because you could really see how beautiful they are on their own, just stamped in two colors. And using that blending brush makes all the difference. Now you can see we have the thin cuts, we have um, the stencil, and I forgot to mention there is the dry embossing, and we are doing that on the pages, and I'll point that out to you. We're actually sanding it, but here's the stamp set, and really there's so many great pieces to it. 
All right, so what are we going to do with this For Always workshop kit that I've created? Well, first of all, I wanted to let you know the videos will be included with your purchase. I will not be doing an online event, but I've already am creating videos to show you how to cut the pieces. So this is added value for you. So for those of you who've wanted to know how did I do those diagonal layouts, the cutting is in this video. So for always cutting the video, cutting the diagonals, I will show you how to do it in the video that I've created. It's really, really cool to get these strips to make the diagonal. So here you can see pages one and two. Now you can see all of these diagonals are on here. These are beautiful. There's so many cutting tips in here and the stenciling and everything. And if you notice that little bit of glitter, that is part of the desert rose glitter that I'm adding. This is just a close up. Now you can see that doily rose is stamped in desert rose first and second generation. I'm using the circle thin cuts and now you can see the black bits from the um, from the thin cuts from the sprigs and leaves that's done in black. Really beautiful. Oh yes, adding that desert rose glitter paper just in slivers to me made all the difference. You can see it right here. It just helped elevate the artwork just a bit. Now here is where you can see those ornamental border is stamped in toffee ink and it really adds a nice little dimension to the pages. Many of you, if you did co-set with me, already own this stamp set, so that's a bonus. Now, how to cut our missed cardstock to use as a base in photo mats. You will be amazed at what I can teach you on how to cut our mats and save the bits or the interior to create the, uh, the photo mats here. So we're gonna cut the bases and do it in such a way where you get twice the value out of the cardstock. It truly is amazing. And that's what I'm known for, is really showing you how to make the most of your paper. But if you also look at this layout, it's sponged, it's stamped with the doily stamp, and then we fussy cut the star out of it. It's stenciled. It's got the black bits from the thin cut sprigs and leaves. So you can see we're really getting into using all of it here on these pages. There's a close up to show you. Love the written paper and that we're stenciling right on top. And then we're taking that lace doily and stamping it in mist and stamping it again and cutting out the star and then adding our clear bling, which is included in the scrapbook workshop kit. Here's the other page. Now here is where you see the desert rose embossed folder for sprigs and leaves, which is then sanded. So we're doing this on both pages. It really is a cool look. and. You can add the stencils to those dry embossed league sprigs and leaves as well. So here's some stenciling, stamping, the bits, and sanding. And now you can see a little bit more of that desert rose glitter paper. These pages are stunning. Just stunning. Now the I Love You Because is a sticker, so I'm adding a three by four uh, flip flap. So that's optional for you, but it just adds a nice dimension to the page. Oh, let me show you. So right here too is just a sliver of that uh, desert rose that is the sprigs and leaves embossed folder that we sanded. So there's just some fun details. Loving this beautiful sticker title. Once again, <clears throat> adding this star, which is fussy cut <clears throat> out of the lace doily and some black bits. Now, how to save on paper and cutting frames and inserts, that's really my forte. And you girls who've been doing my online events know that I love teaching you how to do that. So here you can see we cut our frame and it's missing the interior. We use that middle piece of French vanilla on pages one and two to create those squares. Now we're leaving it out and we're cutting down our frame, and then we're doing all of this first, second, and third generation stamping with that lace doily with rosemary ink. Truly beautiful. Then we're stamping some more and fussy cutting it and bending the, the star a little bit. It's really beautiful in person, but now you can see we use the thin cut sprigs and leaves, and the bits are now in French vanilla, and these are stamped, and these are sponged and stamped. So you're really learning some fun techniques on how to use the whole coordinating line for sprigs and leaves. But look at this For Always paper collection. 
Aren't these pages beautiful? Just some close-ups and using stickers creatively. And here is that beautiful bit that was stamped and stenciled. Really gorgeous. I love all of it. It's so pretty. Now this center, these little beads right here, they come from the Sprigs and Leaves stamp set. So it's all working so well together here. Now you can see the black um, frame in the background here is the Sprigs and Leaves thin cut. So now we use the whole piece and the bits are used throughout the pages. It's really amazing what you can do when you have a system that works so well together. Now this is the single page design and you do have more paper. You'll need another sheet of mist if you want to create a coordinating page, but isn't this beautiful? Now here I took the sprigs and leaves thin cut on French vanilla, the slim line. So you can see that whole frame. I put paper behind it. I used the bits on some of the pages as well as here. And then we have the mist lace doily that's stamped and fussy cut as well as the star here. We're tearing paper and I just love the look of this design and the chevron. I'm not a big fan of this chevron, but I liked it in a minimal style where it just kind of frames the paper here. I love the way this came out. So those are the seven pages. Now you can see a close up of the springs and leaves thin cut in the background. It's bits and the lace doily stamps that we used here. Love all of the stickers and there are some circle thin cuts used throughout some of the pages as well. So here you have it, pages one and two with the diagonals, which I will teach you how to cut and place in a video and all of its little important details. Pages three and four using the mist where I show you how to cut the guts and use them for photo mats. And that had the dry embossing um, and desert rose uh, sprigs and leaves folder that we sanded. Now here's pages five and six, and we are using rosemary, black, and the French vanilla, and doing a lot of fun stamping here. And the extra details are in the cuts of this paper. You'll love learning how to save on paper and get the most out of it, where I can teach you in the videos. So there you have it, all seven pages for four always with all the details and the products. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you will purchase $50 or more in product for four always so that you can create this kit with my artwork.